Washington, D.C. The National Air and Space Museum. Welcome back, explorers. Here's what we know so far. Polar bears need big parachutes, and penguins need plane tickets to fly, and you travelers need to know what the next travel surprise is. On October 14, 1947, this airplane became the first to fly faster than the speed of sound. It's the Bell X-1. Go try that at home, kids. <laughs> Well done, Polly, and well done, United States Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager for flying the Bell X-1 faster than the speed of sound. And nice touch for naming your plane Glamorous Glennis after your wife. Ew, yuck. Can we get back to the plane, guys? So, Cha-Cha, how did the Bell X-1 fly faster than sound itself? Sound has speed? Affirmative, Z. Fasten your seatbelts. Because we're going to go fast. Here, you see a normal plane flying slower than the speed of sound. That dot on the right is you. Why I gotta be a little dot? As this plane gets closer, you will always hear it before it passes overhead. Because the sound is moving faster than the plane. So sound is a thing that moves. And it moves fast, Z. But not faster than Jaeger took the Bell X-1 that special day. Check it out! Oh look, there's the normal plane from before. It looks pretty fast. Yes, but it's still traveling slower than sound. But where's Chuck Yeager in the Bell X-1? Five, there he is now. Four, you might want to cover your ears, Z. Two, one. I don't hear anything. Whoa! Whoa! That was crazy fast. Yeah, the X-1 went so fast that the sound came after. It couldn't even keep up. It was like the normal plane was... And you just heard the sound when you saw the plane. But man, with the Bell X-1... It was long gone before you heard it. Cover your ears! Whoa! <laughs> and that's what it sounds like to break the sound barrier. That is so rad. Wait a minute. We're going to have to break the sound barrier if we want to see the rest of this museum. You know what that means. Yeah! Freestyle Explore! Explore. Anyone want to learn to be a pilot? You can be the pilot of your own plane. And it's a plane made for one. Sorry, Z. Space travel, anyone? Space travel, everyone. The Mercury Friendship 7 and Gemini 4 were some of the early crafts used to take Americans and penguins into space. Ready to land on the moon? Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong, <coughs> Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were the first people to land and walk on the moon. Wow, less than 66 years after the Wright brothers took their first flight. Amazing! That's one small step for Penguin. One giant leap for Penguin kind. Anyone want to learn the science of flight? Let me explain. Air has to flow over the wing faster than it flows under the wing. Then you get lift under the wings. And that's how stuff flies. Hey, buddy. Hi. Where have you been? You okay? How was your surgery? So I'm glad you're okay. Z, that was... Flytastic? No, just plain perfect. So, you think all our friends will want to come visit? Of course! Everyone loves flying because flying is fun and it takes you to really cool places. And as we always say, you should come explore for yourself. Oh, and here's one bonus surprise for you, Cha-Cha. Ch-ch-check -ch it out! Hey, how are you doing that? You just taught me. Faster air above the wings gives you lift. You should try it. I guess some penguins can fly. <laughs> That's right. As long as they're cartoon traveling kid penguins. But it's a lot less work when you fly in a plane.